Now I'm at Bond University uh, being a lecturer and teacher of anatomy and I before I used to teach anatomy at MSH Medical School Hamburg uh, where the anatomage is in use. So what we did a lot was uh, in class practical teaching with the anatomage where we wanted to show different functional or sometimes topographical relationships, in my case, between the internal organs of the abdomen and the thorax. That was the main thing I was doing. Uh, what I was mainly using was actually the clipping tool uh, or the no-clip tool. Uh, I did color highlighting and I was uh, especially fond of the um, feature, um, what was feature lock tool because I wanted the students not to look up structures or names, but I wanted to know, wanted them to know the names and to explore topographical relationships without relying on the names. So for me, the topography was more important than actually the name of the structure. So the feature lock was actually very crucial to what I was doing. Yeah. Yes, uh, our students uh, use the anatomage every single um, anatomy practical class. So every single class is divided into three different stations where we have a station rotation model and during every class the anatomage is one of these stations every week. Uh, well, to be honest, I have only been working with the anatomage, so, um, but maybe I can compare between different universities with and without the anatomage. And uh, what I see is that definitely with the anatomage, uh, it is easier to have a whole body understanding rather than a topographic, very small, uh, precise dissection based uh, understanding of anatomy. So the full functional level is easier to teach with anatomage than with the dissection.